So I'm off to do a uh, killer hornet removal. Colgata. Colgata is uh, the second largest. Uh, they make an external hive. And um, when I was, hold on, let me try, hold on a second. Working today, I saw like six kids running up and down the road, throwing something into the bush and running. And um, and I thought, that to me looks like they're throwing rocks at a hornet's nest. So I went over to investigate. I said, not at all, what are you doing? Oh, man, you know, ba 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 ba. I looked in there, sure enough, a huge, huge Kolkata hive. So I'm off to remove it. So I'm here, all suited up, about to go. What the hell's this string here for? Oh, that's my neck thing. So I'm all gonna go in there, and I'm not sure we can be able to film. So I'm gonna show you, try to show you it. He's gonna come. Faces staring up at me. One guy walking around. I got a. I got a clip. These, there's some guards. That's a. Another entrance in the bottom. I uh, forgot my clippers. I knew I needed something. So this guy's running off. Luckily there's a guy here. He's going to get some clippers. EpiPen. That's EpiPen right there. Sorry I couldn't really uh, show you what I did, but I can talk you through it. It was a really simple removal. I cut the branches around it. I then bagged it. I then grabbed the bottom, tied it off, put it on the ground, and stomped, stomped them on. Stomped. Quick crush death. Um, that's it. And uh, I did this as a freebie because I know he'll report back to Fukui government and I want to become, you know, be known as the, you know, the guy to go to. And the big reason why I want to do removals is because a lot of times it's going to be bees, Japanese bees, which are going to be routed by the Osuzume or Kogata or Kilo or Hime or uh, Mon, these are all giant hornets in Japan, and um, and people they'll route to someone's garden or tree or whatever, and they'll freak out, and they'll give me a call. I go there and I just made three hundred dollars because each hive of Japanese bees is three hundred dollars. That's right, three hundred dollars for you know for bees, Japanese bees. That's how expensive they are. So I did this one pretty much. I was the one who found it. I told this guy, he reported it. They came out, like six guys came out. I went over there, talked to them, told them who I was. I found, you know, explained to them as best I could that I'll, you know, I'll remove it tonight because kids going to school tomorrow, they walk by, you know. And it was funny because um, while I was out there, they all of a sudden swarmed, probably because a male was trying to get in the hive and all of a sudden they all came out and the woman, who was there got attacked and the guy swatted it down and I swatted down and stamped on it but it physically hit her in the head didn't sting her but it was close so that was like a close call I actually got the hornets behind me in the bag and I was like what am I gonna do with them I was like ah chuck chucks the chuck chucks would love the hornets so I'm gonna go open it up and let them eat everything they're gonna love it this is such a dangerous time of year and just this this week a whole bunch of kids were attacked and I think some died. I can't remember if it was six or eight kids died. They were in the forest and they came up on a old Suzumibachi, which is a giant killer hornet hive. Um, and it's cooler now. People are going out hiking and everything else. But this is, you know, end of September to October 15th is, or October, you know, end of October, let's say, is basically D-Day for Hornets. I'm just gonna run this freaking light. Let's go. Oh, 
I'm gonna take some eggs. Those eggs. I can pick them up with one hand. I don't think I can. But don't eat them. It. <laughs>